and we are back in the African Warriors Fighting Championship Arena, back with more damn day action. You know what we do, you know who we are. We have Chindo in the red. Round one, let's go. And he is facing off against Danny Yellow Two Light in the green. Chindo in the red, Yellow Two Light in the green. So both fighters in the center of the arena looking confident. Chindo the shorter man. Comes forward with some aggressive punches. Great movement there from Yellow. I'd love to see how Yellow is able to put together his long limbs. He has the height advantage. Let's see if he can use it. Chindo known for great body shots, great movement. Both men are swinging. Oh, heavy punches to start in the clinch. Both men exchanging heavy, le heavy leather. Shots on both sides. Yellow is very aggressive, really taking it to Chindo. Chindo, a well known, well respected champion from the Chindo lineage in Dambi. But Yellow is not at all a bit of wrestling there. Not at all nervous by that, as you can see. No hesitancy from Yellow at all. Referee separates them. That's the end of the first. So here we have this opening moment. We just have Yellow coming forward. Ooh, nice shot on the chin there. Coming forward super aggressively. Just landing some punches in the clinch. Just imposing himself on Chindo, I think. Showing him, look, you're the bigger name here, but I'm not scared. I'm not concerned. I'm coming forward. I'm ready to fight, which I love to see. So often you see opponents beat by the name of their opponent before the fight even starts. And you can see that Yellow is very keen to stamp his authority in this fight. Chindo here in his corner. So let's see. We're back with another one. Round two. Let's go. So let's see if Yellow is able to keep up that same pace. He really imposed himself on Chindo in that first round. Uncharacteristic of Chindo to be challenged in such a way. So let's see how he responds to that. If he's able to put something together. I'm sure he's going to want to remind Yellow of who he is. Chindo Jr. Garakoran Chindo Jr. But you're in the, every, each man is a man. And ultimately... You're in the arena, you're there to fight, and if your opponent's not intimidated, the name, everything stays at the door. Yellow comes forward with a big shot. Some punches in the clinch now, both men swing. Oh, nice punch there, lands for Yellow. Just roughing Chindo up, really. Look at that aggressive aggression, coming forward, angry. I'm here, I'm ready to fight. Not giving Chindo any room to get his movement working. Chindo goes, oh, nice body shot there, lands for Chindo, but as soon as they're back in that clinch, and Yellow is just swinging those heavy punches, wearing on Chindo. Super aggressive start. Yellow is able to keep this same aggression up. I, I'm concerned for Chindo's prospects. Chindo looks a bit confused to me. Like I think you've got an opponent that you're so you're so used to dominance whenever you step in the arena. Then you have a guy who's literally on your neck confident doesn't look scared not backing up at all it's a lot to take in so both men now we just have a slight pause in the action both men just looking for their opening moments looking for the opportunity to strike i think yellow needs to be careful with the pace of the fight changing he was doing so well before Keeping that pace, driving that pace. I think he needs to keep that up if he wants to ensure he wins this fight. But as always, that's easier said than done. It's both men just in the center of the arena, just watching. Stalking each other, looking for the opening, facing each other, mirroring each other. Where is it going to come from? Who's going to open up? As I said, as we've seen so far, Yellow has done very well to drive the pace. But ultimately, it's a lot to ask of anyone, any fighter, any athlete, to keep up that blistering pace for the entire fight. So maybe he's just taking the opportunity to calm it down. 
see if he can re-strategize if he needs to. And that is the end of that second round. So here we just have another moment of yellow coming forward. Really roughing Chindo up, as you can see, dragging on his neck, throwing some big shots in from the clinch. Nice punches, heavy, ooh, nice blows there. Just really showing that I'm here and I'm ready to fight. Chindo, I've never seen Chindo look so hesitant. He's throwing some punches back to be fair to him, but this is not characteristic of Chindo Jr. when he fights. Check out Chindo Jr. vs. Bola Musa for an example of Chindo at his very best. But ultimately, every dog has his day. Round three, let's go. So here we go again, both men in the middle of the arena, center of the arena, watching each other, looking for the opening. Stalking, ooh, yellow opens up with a big shot, same in, straight into this clinch, back of Chindo's neck, Chindo throws a punch back, doesn't land. Nice shot there from Chindo. Yellow inching forward. Ooh, nice punches there. Big punches in the clinch again. Both men swinging heavy punches, heavy shots. Chindo pushes Yellow off. Yellow jumps straight back in there. I love the tactics from Yellow here. He's really showing how clinch movement should be used. Dirty boxing and how helpful, how useful it can be in a Dambe fight. Because ultimately, when and Chindo is wearing that on his face, as you can see there. Because ultimately, when you're the bigger fighter, you can really bear down on your opponent. You can make him uncomfortable. And Yellow is, is using the clinch to his advantage, has been doing so. Chindo is looking a bit bruised, a, a bit tender, a bit battered. Because Yellow is just grabbing him, slamming him in the clinch, throwing big shots, landing punches. And those punches hurt. They're not, you can't get the big wind up on them like you do typically with a, you know, a big knockout punch, but these punches, repeated shots to the side of your head, it's not fun, it's painful, it hurts. And you can see Chindo wearing them. So both men really, just still again, it just, we have bursts of movement in this fight. So both men now, as you can see, just calm, stalking each other watching each other then boom it's like the switch ticks and they go straight back to it i wonder if we're gonna have another big moment in this fight some slight feints there hand control attempts hand control being very key very important in Danby. you only have that hand to block with if you can tie up your opponent's unblocked hand, unwrapped hand. You can land your killer blow. You can see that bruising around Chindo's eye here. Yellow's landed a good few punches there and he's wearing it on his face. Just an intensity Yellow has. And <laughs> Yellow is, an, is not the most aggressive or <laughs> imposing color, is it? But <laughs> comes forward with some more punches there. Nice movement from Chindo. Oh, Chindo clips him nice on the chin. Yellow coming forward again. Aggressive hammer punches. Lands multiple shots. Chindo goes for the clinch now. Just wraps him up. Tries to just get a hug on. Referee separates them. What a fight. Chindo now wants to fight. <laughs> it's over, my friend. So here we have Yellow coming forward, just slamming big shots in. There's a nice punch for Chindo. Then here's this clinch moment again. Yellow used that clinch so well. Both men are swinging shots here. Big punches on either side. Yellow jumping into those punches, as you can see, just slamming multiple shots in. Just here, you can't have him pursuing Chindo, landing multiple hammer fists to the side of the head, multiple shots. Chindo just hugs up. Ooh, 
What a fight. <laughs> Yellow still wants to fight. It's over for now. 